Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I hope you are doing good. So today I'm going to show you how you can submit your form using Axios and view. So let's get started with today's video. So that's the view I have created. You can see I'm having some fields, name, email, phone, message. So let's uh, fill this form. So write name. I'm just writing random things. So here email, then phone, message. And now let's click on submit. Now you can see in console we have all the fields with the its values. So we are getting form data. But how we can send this data to our backend that is Laravel. So for that we need Axios. Axios is basically a HTTP client that will be sending requests to your backend Laravel and using data also. Like whatever data you are having collected using form that also we will be sending using Axios request. So in this video, I'll just show you how you can install Axios and using Axios, how you can hit a API and you can send your data in your API. That's it. How to store it, I'll show you in my next video. So you can see in code, I have one form and it's having just fields and error message it's displaying. And in script, you can see we are using the app and we validate. And in methods, you can see I'm having one method that is handle submit. So here I have console logs values that I've shown in the starting of the video. So now let's get started with installing Axios. So open terminal and for installing Axios, write command npm i Axios. So you can see Axios is installed now. So let's go to package.json and there you can see in dev dependencies it's installed. With version you can also see. So now let's go and import in our example component. So write import Axios from Axios. With Axios, you can send all type of requests like uh, get, post, put, patch, delete, all kind of. So here, handle submit, I'll be hitting up post request because we are going to send data. Let's write axios.post and here, firstly, parameter that we'll be sending that is URL. So here, URL is HTTP localhost and port in which like Laravel is running, that is 8001. So now complete URL will be API slash contact form save second parameter will be data so that will be sending form data here so here write values now let's handle the result of this if then and catch will be using so firstly dot then that will be result and here let's so console dot log result then after that catch in catch also we are getting error in catch so let's console error also so now let me fill the form so write name email phone then message and submit and here you can see in console we are getting inputs and we are getting one error also so if we go in network and see so here you can see 404 and you can see the url also that is hitting and payload is also going and here you can see post method is not supported for this because this root still we have not created in our laravel side so let's go and create that so open api.php file in roots folder and here write root and that will be a post request and let's so uh, pass the same url contact form save and now let's handle the request so now let me just return request let's say name only right now so now let's check in browser and see if we are getting name so let me just fill again name email phone and message now submit now you can see same name is returned from api response so you can see status code is now 200 okay um, payload also going and everything is like all fine so that's all in this video in this video i've shown you how you can install axios and how you can send request using axios here i have shown you how you can send a post request so next I'll be showing you is how you can do the server side validation and then how you can submit your form in your database. So I'll be showing you these things in upcoming videos. So that's all in this video. If you have doubt related to this topic, then you can comment down in the comment section. So thank you so much for watching. Please like, share and subscribe to my channel.